Hey y'all, welcome back to episode number seven of the Bear Conversion. Welcome to Yacht Shop Creations. It's Jim, your humble host. Let's go in and see what I've got done so far. Here we are, back in the bear. Got a few things done. I kind of spent a lot of the time over the weekend working on this, bringing you guys up to speed. A lot of little welding and things that go into the uh, project. And right now, just in case you're curious, my time on this project is right around 165 hours so far. You know, it has a lot to do with a good many things, whether it's planning it out or what we've done as far as getting it ready and grinding and stuff. That's none of Steve's time with the wiring or anything. So. Just gives you a kind of a ballpark of where we're at comparatively to time frame maybe or so I think we we're progressing along nice. As you can see I have the Corian sink in, which this is an amazingly um, deep sink that keeps on going on forever. Oops, keeps on going on forever. Actually let me pop that out of there. <laughs> it's cool, it's white, it's not great for fab work, but uh, we have it here. And um, if you'll notice I've kind of framed out the countertop in this one by two material and the piece that I just cut on the saw is going to go right in here with just a little bit of tapping, a little bit of modifications. It has to be cut up over that notch a little bit more, but that'll give us the structural strength of, you know, framing this out because Corian's going to sit on top of this and I kind of have an ulterior motive. I'm trying to uh, make the box stronger as well. How much more rigid can we make it? A big advantage I think we're going to find when this is completed is how well the aluminum prevents squeaking and rattling when you're taking this thing off road comparatively to like a standard model where everything's just wood and MDF and stuff glued together that you'd find on a normal RV. This is not normal by any means and it should be able to handle the off road thing. So the sink fits in here nicely. That's the way that's going to go. And we come back here and we can see that this other space here is open and I've plated it on both sides and this will be for a drawer we'll pull out from underneath here and then we come into the lovely Dominitic stove which is also an oven it's quite a nice unit they you know it's parts are secured so it doesn't rattle and make a lot of noise going down the road and this grill this top piece even you see me moving it it's not making any noise kind of nice the rubber inserts it's meant for off-road stuff so they did a good job with it so this is kind of where we're at for right now um, we're obviously just going to continue on nice thing about the aluminum is you can really square it out and see how nicely squared that is and you know again when you're welding aluminum it has a tendency to move so you got to keep checking it but you can see how this stuff is going to be really nice for the when it's set up we'll take a look at the other side now that i finished up and we'll just turn around here so this side came out pretty well as you can see so now it's Starting to give you a little bit more of an idea of how this is all going to lay out and also giving me an idea. You know, the bed will be from this point back, this will all be bed. There'll be a little seating area over here, which will actually sit, you know, two people kind of be able to sit like this. There's no seat here and I don't want to fall down on camera. So, you know, you'll be here and then the um, table will pull out this direction. There'll be enough space for another person here. And, you know, I'm an average size guy, a little bit bigger than average. So there's plenty of room here to sit two people. On this side of the table, there'll be room to sit two more people. It's quite luxurious, I guess, the way it's being set up. Also, the bed will give us, you know, working area, place to lay down, use the computer, the iPad. We'll be setting that up. We're gonna have a really tricky interior going in here. We decided to use zebra wood. I got some really cool zebra wood that we're going to use for the headboard and the baseboard in the bed. So kind of excited about the direction that this project's taking and how much it's actually changed from the beginning. Steve and I have actually had a few conversations about that where it's just kind of added on to itself and added on to itself. And the further and deeper we go, the better the project's going to be in the end. So I'm super excited. Um, I don't know how I got lucky enough in this lifetime to be able to do some of the creative, cool work that I get to do. But I'll take it. Bring on some more. Well, we hope you liked the update on video number seven. And we'll have video eight coming out within seven days with more of the project that's been completed. We don't really know how long this series is going to last for, but we'll be filming for a while. We have an idea. All right. So until next time, 
make something cool. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for the thumbs up that I get from all of you and the support. And we appreciate every one of you. Sending you all my love. Wishing you all well. Spend some time with somebody you care about. Till next time.